Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We must really be in the holidays right now because there are three, yes, three free PC games you can get right now. One of them is a repeat, but for all of you guys that never got it, now's the time to get it again. And it typically goes for $39.99, so to get it free right now is awesome. And on top of that game, there are two more free games. So we'll look at all of that. On top of that, we'll look at a very interesting report from Fox Sports Asia. And the report is that games like League of Legends, Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite, and and others are going to be banned from China. I really have a hard time believing this, especially in the case of League of Legends, some of those other games I could see getting banned. But I'll talk a little bit about that. And then I also want to take a look at the possibility of a highly anticipated 2019 JRPG possibly coming over to PC. No, it's not Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's another game that honestly, I might be more excited for than Kingdom Hearts 3. We'll look at that at the end of this video. First up, let's go through all of the free game offerings right now, because again, we've got three games. First up on Steam, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion is free until December 19th. This is the repeat. I do believe Steam has given this out free before, but still this game typically goes for $39.99 and when it is on sale, I think it's still at a $9.99 price point, but right now you can add it to your library absolutely free. I do believe they recently just released some content for the game, so to celebrate that, they are offering the game free. A game that I personally haven't invested too much time into, but it does have a very positive reception from Steam. 91% positive in the last 30 days and 92% positive overall. It's a 4x space strategy game so check it out for yourself absolutely free over on Steam right now. That is obtainable directly from the game's Steam page. On top of that, another game available directly from its Steam page is Gene Shift. Gene Shift is an early access title and it's a battle royale title that's inspired by GTA. Old school GTA, that is when we're looking at the top down GTA games, of course not the newer GTA titles. But each round only lasts two minutes and you can use exploding cars, miniguns, invisibility, and more to outplay friends in tactical online combat. You loot for special powers, build secret bases, and be the last man standing. So since this is a multiplayer oriented game, and the best experience is going to be had when you play it with your friends, get all your boys to download it as well for the best experience possible. Another game with a very positive overall reception, 91% positive in the last 30 days, and overall it is at 96% positive, but that's only based on 114 reviews. If you die in the game, you become a zombie, and then you can loot for the next round or try to kill an enemy to respawn. It touts over 30 tactical skills, and of course, just looking at the game, this is a relatively easy game to run. So even if you're on an old laptop, you're going to be able to play it no problem problem. So those two games are available on Steam right now with Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion as well as Gene Shift and then Ubisoft are giving away free copies of Anno 1602. That is available over on Uplay and that's going to be available until December 22nd so you have a little bit of time to access this. You guys know that I'm a little bit of a soy boy when it comes to games like this so last year's offering of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was definitely more up my alley. Who knows Uplay might be giving away more titles. Last year I do believe they gave away a couple games each with their own time window for you to access so since this is expiring on December summer 22nd maybe we'll see another game offered from you play who knows for now you can check out Ano 1602 absolutely free and that is available over at you play so we've got sins of a solar empire rebellion gene shift which is an early access title but still you get it for free and it's yours to keep forever and then Ano 1602 through you play as well and that's available until december 22nd both gene shift and sins of a solar empire are available until the 19th so a lot of free game offerings right now remember that subnautica is also free over at the epic game store expect the free games to really be rolling into 2019 19 as well because all of these different e-tailers are going to be vying for your attention whether it be you play whether it be steam whether it be epic gog humble they all want your attention and free games is really the easiest way to grab your attention and then i imagine they hope that you'll stick around and maybe pick up something else along the way as well but all of those free for you guys right now moving on from that we got to look at a very interesting report that suggests that league of legends overwatch PUBG, and fortnite are going to be banned in china specifically pointed from a reddit thread that translated the results of the review process. League of Legends was said to be banned because it featured, quote, overly revealing female characters and, quote, in harmonious chat rooms. So that is pretty accurate. However, I don't think League of Legends is too bad, although because it is China, they're just gonna play with a different set of rules. And all of these bans come following the establishment of the Online Ethics Review Committee by the Chinese government. And if you guys are wondering for whatever reason, inharmonious chat is what you guys think it means. Toxicity in the chat room, which is pretty bad in League of Legends. That game's chat room is one thing I'm pretty familiar with. League can be a pretty toxic experience, but at the same time, they make it pretty easy to mute people as well. So I don't think that's all too big of a deal. And just multiplayer games in general, obviously, they're 
there are gonna be some bad apples ruining the experience, or in the case of League, it's a lot of bad apples. Although I haven't played League in a very long time, so I'm talking about my experience from yesteryear, but I'm sure that still persists today. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure it does. And then other games that were set to have inharmonious chat environments as well include Overwatch, Diablo, and WoW. And Overwatch was also apparently blasted for showing game visuals that promote incorrect values. And then it was said that Diablo's story mode was found to include fraud. And then other games that are a part of this banning process include PUBG, Fortnite, H1Z1, and Rings of Elysium. All of those are Battle Royale titles, and they were banned for featuring blood and gore. Now, what's interesting is I don't see any Valve games listed. I don't see Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I don't see Dota 2. And those games feature a lot of the similar qualities that are being listed for League of Legends, Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite, and every other game that's been listed here. But why aren't the Valve games being listed as well? With League of Legends, I really don't believe this is going to end up being banned. That game has a significantly large banning, but this is definitely going to be a story to follow. China is obviously the one market that every business is trying to get into right now. And obviously the reason being for China's ridiculously high population, if you can break into China, there's potential to make absolutely absurd revenue. But at the same time, China is becoming more and more guarded and you're seeing a lot of these businesses having a hard time to break into China. But if they do, all shackles are off at that point and they can make some insane revenue, but breaking in is the hard part. And now these games being repelled away, that could be very, very bad. But that's a story that we'll have to see play out. Very unfortunate from what we know so far. Moving on from that. And lastly, I do want to give a JRPG a mention that might be coming to PC. No, it's not Kingdom Hearts 3, although I do imagine that that game will be coming to PC at some point, but it is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. This game was originally called Grand Blue Fantasy Project Relink. It has been renamed. We got a brand new trailer for the game. And for now, we know that it's a PlayStation 4 exclusive, but it is being created by Platinum Games and Platinum have put out several titles on PC, including Metal Gear Rising and a bunch of their other titles have come over to PC. And it was specifically said that the team wants to release the game on not just PlayStation 4, but are also considering Steam. Now, if you ever hear a publisher or developer outright say that they are considering X, Y, or Z platform, at some point, chances are it's gonna happen. With Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, I think for JRPG fans, this is a game that would do really, really well on PC. Platinum Games have already shown their PC muscle. We've seen games like Nier Automata come to PC, and while that game wasn't the best port, from a commercial standpoint, it seemingly did very well, and I think Grand Blue Fantasy Relink would also do well. This is a JRPG that not a ton of people are talking about right now, just because we haven't gotten a ton of information about the Western release. However, I think as we get closer to the release, as we get more information and more trailers, this is going to be a game that captivates a large portion of not only the PlayStation gaming audience, but if it comes to PC, there's definitely a subsect of people that are into JRPGs on PC, and I think this would be one of the go-to ones in 2019. On top of if Kingdom Hearts 3 sees a PC release in 2019, really, I would like to see all of the Kingdom Hearts games be released on PC, but the collections as well. Gore Enix has put all of their other JRPGs on PC with Dragon Quest. Of course, all of the Final Fantasy games are on PC, and I think at some point we will get Kingdom Hearts, and at some point it looks like we will be getting Grand Blue Fantasy Relink as well. That's a title I'm very excited about. <laughs> So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, three free games available right now. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, Gene Shift. Those are available both on Steam. Uplay's got Anno 1602, so that's another game to check out. China might be banning a bunch of titles, including League of Legends, Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite. This is going to be a very interesting story to follow and see if more games are added to the pile of banned titles. And lastly, it does look like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink will be headed over to PC at some point. Right now, it's scheduled for a 2019 release on the PlayStation 4. Usually with Platinum titles, they're pretty close with the console release. I think Nier Automata was only a month or two difference, but we'll see how it turns out with this one. I will keep you guys posted. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.